Okay, well, this is uh, Jesus Freak, and uh, I have gotten a new jacket, and this is my old jacket. Um, obviously, in the uh, well, this is silver, but my bike's uh, green, black, and white. So this is the jacket that I got initially, and I have the uh, the green, white, and black helmet as well. Um, but between the bike, the jacket, and the helmet, um, I thought the green, white, and black was just um, getting to be a little too much. Plus this jacket, um, and I was going to have to get this fixed, but uh, as you can see here, the, one of the waist straps is, uh, the stitching is coming loose, so I was going to have to have that repaired. Um, and then also uh, this zipper over here was broken. So I was going to have to have that either replaced or repaired. And I was figuring that was probably going to cost a decent amount. So, um, but I was prepared to do it. But this uh, color green on the jacket too, this color green does not match my motorcycle. This is kind of like the, uh, the older green. Uh, that Kawasaki had um, and I think that uh, one of the um, 250R's had this color green on it I don't remember it's probably the 2010 maybe the 2010 had the lighter green instead of the darker green mine's the darker green um, so I in thinking about this, I ran across a jacket on Craigslist. This is the first thing I've ever bought off of Craigslist. And so this is my new jacket right here. So that's a mesh jacket, the old one. This is a textile jacket. It is solid, but there's vents. It's got a number of uh, vent spots on it that you can zip in the arms and the body of it um, there's even uh, adjustable um, sleeves with the uh, the zippered ends there more um, vents and stuff um, all these zippers obviously work there's even a little storage spot in the arm right there that's kind of a cool thing it has a uh, Kawasaki on the front here. It's got all the armor and everything. It's got uh, Kawasaki on the back. It's totally black. It's all black. So now I got the the paint scheme on the bike, the uh, paint scheme on my helmet, and just a flat black jacket. I think I will kind of like having just a flat black jacket, particularly like when I go in the stores and stuff and I don't quite look like uh, Joe Racer or something um, this is a uh, Joe Rocket jacket and it has the ZX Kawasaki symbol there it has uh, Kawasaki Heavy Industries motorcycle division there um, this jacket hold on let me show you something on this one this jacket, the old one, has a, a, a rain liner in it. This is just plastic. It's just a rain liner. So if you're in the rain, it will keep you from getting wet. But I don't ride mostly in the rain, at least so far. Um, so I never really used that. I just kind of kept it in the closet when I wasn't riding. The, and in the cold weather, I'd have to wear a liner from one of my other jackets underneath that otherwise I would absolutely freeze to death this jacket has a thermal liner in it so it's not waterproof but it is cold proof and you can leave that in or take it out depending on what the weather is so that'll be a lot more useful to me particularly in the spring and the fall during that transition where it is kinda of cold but warms up during the day so it'll be a lot easier to uh, to ride to work in the morning when it's cold out without 
freezing my uh, my midsection. Um, so that's the that's the new jacket. Um, I'll probably be listing that on eBay so, uh, pretty soon, probably. Um, that one's made by Kawasaki. Kawasaki actually made this one, whereas Joe Rocket marketed this one for them. So that's the new jacket, and uh, looking forward to riding in it. So take it easy, everybody. I want to ride these trains.